In this video, we are going to go over how to add a user to a group to give them the required permissions to work on a project. Here I made a test project, and what we're going to do is add a test user to this 400 engineering folder. This will be part of the Ohio DOT design group. So to start, we're going to hit tools and we're going to scroll down to user management. Then we're going to get a dialog here. This dialog has three panes. One is where you have a selection for users, groups, or user lists. Here you have a pane of available groups or user lists you can add the user to. So this is your permissions to add to a group or user list. And here is the assigned group or user list that the user or group is associated with. For example, we can click all users. And in all users, we have every user that has logged into this data source. For example, here I am. Here is the available pane where I can add this user to a specific group or a specific user list. Here is the assigned group or user list that I'm already a part of. For example, here's a, a PID project users list. Uh, I am under the administrator group and also the Ohio DOT design. But like I said, we are looking for a user to be added to this test project. And I do have a user in mind. So uh, you can see here that it stops here at Brian Fick. So if we actually scroll up, you see a little right and left, which shows you more users. You can also filter by name. So I have, am looking for a test user, which would be between S and Thomas. So if I go down to the test, I have a test group user. This is the user that I'd like to add to this test project we have selected here. But what we need to add them to is really dependent on the project wise administrator and what access this user is going to need. As I stated earlier, they are going to need 400 engineering access, which is going to be under the Ohio DOT design group. Now that I have this user selected and the Ohio DOT design selected, I can click this arrow here to give the user access to Ohio DOT design group, or I can actually double click. So if we double click, it's also going to add this user to this group and we can hit apply. So this user is now a part and assigned to the Ohio DOT design group. So another way of doing this is if we actually minimize users, we can just look directly at groups. For example, I wanted to add this user to the Ohio DOT design group. So if I open this up, I can see all the users inside that group. So we're going to go ahead and minimize this here. And if I select Ohio DOT design, it shows me available users that I can add to that group. Here are the assigned users to the group already. So if I scroll all the way down here, I should be able to find that test user I just added. So. Now, if I wanted to add the user, for example, the test group user to also be under the survey, I can go to Ohio DOT survey, look at my available users to add. I can also search by a filter, test group user, double click and apply. So if we actually go back to all users, find that same user, you can see the are now a part of two groups here.